Hi, I'm Hines Ward, wide receiver for Pittsburgh. And today I'm going to teach you how to run a curl route. So come on, let's go. Typically, a, a curl route is ran by 12 to 14 yards. And as I'm coming up, you want to make sure you keep your arm driving. And at the top of the route, you really want to emphasize getting your chin over your toe. So when you hit by 14 yards, emphasize your chin over your toe, turn and pivot back, keep your hands pumping so you can make that turn. And as you're going back to the quarterback, you want to beat the defender back to the ball. It's very important for a lot of kids to make sure you don't just stop on a curl route. When the ball is in the air, always run back through the ball, spread back to the quarterback, don't stop. And when the ball is in the air, you want to make sure you run through the ball and catch it with your hands because you have a defender that's also chasing you. And as the quarterback throws the ball, you really want to meet the ball in the air and try to catch it with your hands because, first of all, you got a defender that's driving back on you, and as he comes and swipes the ball, now you catch it before he gets to it. As the defender goes through, he swipes up the ball, he don't have a chance to really bat the ball down. So try to use your hand, catch it, and tuck. Now, if you let the ball come into your chest, now the defender's going to come and knock the ball out. A lot of defenders like to take chances, try to make an interception. So sometimes if I'm coming back and the defender tries to pick the ball, and if he's swiping for it, catch it, roll, tuck, and pick up some extra yards after the catch. So remember, as you're running the curl route, be sure to make sure you get the chin over your toes. When you come back, run straight back to the quarterback and try to catch it with your hands. And after you catch it with your hands, tuck and curl and go score a touchdown. So if you remember all those four points, you should have a successful play.